Hey, hey, good afternoon, everybody. Alan from Off Grid Technology. I've gotten a lot of comments on some of my videos, specifically the UV9G, uh, about issues with the software. So what I wanted to do today is just take a quick tutorial for you guys to show you how to download Chirp and how to select it and import your radio's uh, code plug and ditch that old radiodity software that just is a pain in the butt. So let's get started. First thing you have to do is you are going to want to go download the client, the Chirp client. Um, that's at track.chirp.danplanet.com. I'll leave a link below in the description for you guys for that. And download the latest installer um, and save it. I've already done that. So let me go ahead and run that here. And what you're going to want to do is go ahead and click through the steps. Get it all nice installed. And then you're going to open up the app. And slide it over here for you to see. Um, and you're just going to get a blank screen like this. Now, before you do anything, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to go to your device manager. And you're going to have to find out what port is being used for the cable. Now, to get this to show up, you are going to have to make sure you have your radio plugged into the cable, the cable plugged into your USB port, and turn the radio on. Now, it's very important that you turn the radio on, and I would put it at least half volume, uh, as when it sends this, it sends it in analog tones, so you don't want anything to be missed out. So once you've got that, you're, you'll see here I've got mine on COM8. You're going to go into Chirp, go to Radio, Download from Radio. If it's not already your correct COM port, you can go ahead and change that here. You're going to choose the manufacturer, which in this case is Baofeng. And then we're going to change the model to UV9G now. Um, you can do it on the UV9R as well as the UV9G for GMRS. It'll work the same way. Hit OK. You'll get a beta driver version, a warning. Just go ahead and hit Yes to proceed. Um, and again, the steps. If you haven't done this already, make sure you turn off your radio, connect the cables, turn on your radio, and then hit OK. This is going to clone all of the data that you have in your radio as far as channels and so forth. Uh, into Chirp. Now, if this is the first time you run this in Chirp, you haven't done it before, I would highly recommend you back up your radio with the Radiodity software. Um, if you don't care, you just want a, a blank canvas, um, I can attach the code plug that I have below for this. It's just a basic standard code plug. Um, I think I only have like two, yeah, two, two repeaters, which I can remove before I put the code plug up. But anyway, now you can see we have all of our channels here. Um, if I scroll all the way to the bottom, you can even see we have the infamous NOAA channels that some people hate, some people don't. Um, I like to keep them in there. Uh, again, this is for an emergency radio, um, but I just skip for when I'm trying to do the seek. Uh, just a preference, it's up to you. Um, you can have up to 127 channels in here, 128, I think it starts at zero. Uh, so we've got one through 54 sets so far. Now you can make changes to the frequency, you can make changes to the names, the offsets, everything that you need to do, you can do in here. Um, once you do that, to re-upload it to the radio, you're going to just choose Upload to Radio. You'll follow the same process as the download. When it's completed, you just unplug your radio, turn it off, turn it back on, everything's good to go. Uh, there is also a settings section here that you can see where you can change a lot of your settings, such as squelch, your battery, your box so forth. You can even come into the other settings and you can change your power on message uh, to include your call sign or whatever you may be. So it's a pretty decent little app. I like this way better than the Radiodities app that's provided through Baofeng or through Radiodity. Uh, this is a lot better. Uh, you can you have a little bit more control over it and it's a lot easier and more intuitive to use. Um, so definitely check it out. Um, if you haven't used Chirp, I definitely recommend it for the UV9G. It makes life so much easier. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. Was this video helpful for you? Would you like to see more tutorial videos? Um, and if so, what kind of stuff are you guys looking for me to make? Uh, I'm here to help uh, the community in any way I can and to provide uh, hopefully some information and entertainment for you guys. So give me a thumbs up and thank you guys. Have a great afternoon.